I was born in Melbourne, Australia, 1982, and my parents had no idea that I was going to be born without arms or legs. I was the only one that I ever saw without limbs. My faith in Jesus Christ was sealed after seven years of wondering why, God, I was born this way. Uh, he answered me very clearly through John chapter 9. And I gave my life to Jesus at 15 after reading about how he came across a man who was born blind. And I'm like, hey, hold on a second. This looks interesting. <laughs> and no one knew why he was born that way. I'm like, perfect. So I read on and in verse 3 of the ninth chapter, Jesus said it was done so that the works of God would be revealed through him. And I'm like, wow, God, if you had a plan for the blind man, you do have a plan for me. And that was the beginning of my personal relationship with Jesus. Youth groups were starting to call me. Churches were starting to call me. Opportunities were opening up everywhere for me to share my testimony. I was speaking in front of 300 sophomore public high school students. Three minutes into it, half the girls were crying. One girl in the middle of the room started weeping. She put up her hand and she said, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but can I come up there and give you a hug? In front of everyone, she came and she hugged me. She cried on my shoulder and whispered in my ear, no one's ever told me that they love me. No one's ever told me that I'm beautiful the way that I am. I couldn't believe it, it changed my life. At that moment, I knew God was ministering to her through me. It's not by my speech or my power, it was God. And my heart was ignited with a passion. And it was an awesome day to see one soul transformed forever. That was when I knew I was called to be a worldwide evangelist. Today, do not leave here unchanged. Leave here unchanged. You don't know what God can do with your broken pieces until you give God your broken pieces. And I want you to know when you fall down, God's grace is sufficient. God's hand will come down and pick you up. In the first seven years of ministry, God opened up doors for me to speak 2,000 times across 44 countries on six continents, from university campuses, 40,000 students in China, to India, where we're talking to sex slaves, to crowds in the jungle of India, 110,000 people, down to Indonesia and all of Southeast Asia, to speaking at congresses of nations like Colombia and Costa Rica, where you see the leaders of that nation commit that country to the Lord Jesus. To Korea and speaking to the next generation about depression and suicide and to Eastern Europe where we did Serbia, Slovenia and Croatia. And then doors in the Middle East, the message of hope was spread throughout the whole Arab world. That is God. And we know We've just begun. By the grace of God, we have seen face to face a half a million souls say yes to Jesus and be plugged into a local church. As crazy as it sounds, our goal at Life Without Limbs Ministry is to preach to every single soul on the planet. Seven billion people. We believe that this goal is possible as the Holy Spirit is gathering an army and building up supporters to send us and accomplish this mission. But this all takes support. And yes, I ask for your prayers. Pray for us, pray for our board, pray for our staff and our team. But we could not do this much where we've come this far without the people who financially support us in actively sending us to complete the mission before us. We are praying by faith that the Holy Spirit speaks to you about supporting us and becoming a partner in helping us to accomplish this awesome mission ahead. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good and God is good. All right. My story is a story of redemption. 
Help us share it with the world so that others would be free indeed.